pagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019. Upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan, narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos. Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at wag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok. Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawaing bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan, tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, tumuloy ka sa espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba.
Sotya. Sound check.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday of the first week in Ordinary Time. The presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Bishop Ness. Please stand. Glory and praise to our God, who alone is light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him, who build the valleys and plains, Praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sees. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. In the gospel today, Jesus sits with sinners. Public sinners. And so many people are scandalized during that time. And yet, every time we gather for the Mass, the same thing happens. We gather because Jesus calls us. Jesus breaks bread with us. He's inviting us to share the meal he is preparing. And so, to prepare ourselves for this deep encounter with Jesus in the Eucharist, we ask forgiveness for all our shortcomings and sins. For God is full of mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care. O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. 
For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to you, to you o, Lord. o Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Our dear Rector and Paris Priest, Father Dennis, Father Jepoy, yung kanyang katuwang, Father Ray Capili, SSS, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear people of God.
Isang pinagpala at magandang araw po sa ating lahat. So marahil, nagtataka kayo, how come we are four priests before you? Uh, well, una po, uh, today is just the day before the fiesta of Santo Nino. And at the same time, we also are we all know that we are celebrating our fifth centenary of Christianity in the Philippines and our 70th anniversary as a parish community. So uh, we have a beautiful souvenir book that speaks much about how we have traveled, how we have responded to the call as a parish as a gifted community in order to give so ayan po ninyong give, allow me to give first a word about the readings and then perhaps connect this uh, event as it were that we are celebrating to events the 70th anniversary of our parish and our fifth centenary uh, of uh, the arrival of the Christian faith to our land. So, una po, first about the readings. So, since Monday, we have been reflecting the first reading, the letter to the Hebrews. And as I mentioned, it's more of a homily. So we'll be taking this until 1st week of February. And uh, it has six parts. So far, we are in the third part. The first introduction, second is Christ higher than angels. And we've been dealing with the third part. Christ as a faithful and, com as faithful and compassionate. And then by Tuesday, we'll be taking the... Christ as the eternal priest. So, transition po ito, ating reading hanggang lunes, and then uh, the eternal priesthood of Jesus, and then the fifth part will be uh, about his uh, examples, obedience, and discipline, and then the last one will be about, uh, you know, final exhortation and greetings. So, nandito po tayo sa third part. Christ as the faithful and compassionate priest. So, uh, we have been reflecting on Psalm 95. This is the fourth day. And uh, today, it's quite, in a way, the way the, the way the reading starts, it's very challenging. It's a good reminder for all of us. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit. So most of the time when we speak of the Word of God, we refer to the Bible and yet it goes beyond that. How we live the Word, how we testify to the Word. This is quite important. So the, uh, the author of the letter to the Hebrews would like to emphasize, understand Jesus. And in understanding Jesus and in coming to know Him, be faithful to the end. The way He was faithful to His mission, to His commitment, the way He has embraced your humanity. Sharing your trials, sharing your crisis difficulties so that He could lift you up. He could give us an example how we are to live. Maganda po siguro maalala natin yung sinabi ni Mohandas Gandhi, an Indian leader and a pacifist. This is a challenge for us. You know what he said? I like your cries. 
I do not like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. So that's the challenge, my dear friends. It's not just to listen, but to act, to live the Word so that we incarnate Jesus in our testimony, our commitment each day. So let's ask for the grace that we'll be persistent, persevering in living our commitment in being faithful to Jesus. In the Gospel, we have been traveling with St. Mark. And as I mentioned yesterday, there are five controversial incidents. Kahapon po yung first, uh, this is the second controversy that Jesus encounters with the spiritual leaders during his time. And he wanted to correct, to check what was not proper, what was not right. So here, in the gospel today, we hear the call of Levi or Matthew. So, Mark would like to tell us that Jesus is not just a teacher, but he teaches with authority. And his main message is to say that God, to communicate God's love and mercy towards sinners. The spiritual leaders during Jesus' time, they were just Focus on themselves. They thought they were the righteous people. And yet when we say sinners, it covers all. All of us. Because we are all in need of God's mercy and love. So my dear friends, as we look back in the history of our cathedral parish, we have many reasons to be grateful to praise and thank God. You know, the beautiful souvenir uh, booklet that we have, book that we have, is a beautiful testimony how this parish through the years responded and continued to grow as a people of God gifted to give. And that's what we will see in between the lines of the stories and even the untold stories, how our faithful, how those who serve this parish, priests, sisters, lay people, in their own little way, build up this beautiful community. So we are, again, reminded we have been gifted, and gifts are meant to be appreciated and to be shared. I hope and pray we will continue to be generous in sharing what we have received. The faith, the beautiful tradition, practices that we have in our cathedral parish so that we will continue to be a light in the world, a city on a hill, a star that can inspire, that can guide other people to Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. The response is, for every petition, divine physician, touch us. 
divine physician touch us that the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful let us pray to the lord divine, divine physician touch, touch us. us that those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties let us pray to the lord divine physician touch, touch us. us that consecrated persons like mary may dedicate their whole lives to god and to the church to the witness of poverty chastity and obedience let us pray to the lord divine, divine physician, physician touch, touch us, us that we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us. us. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us. us. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore, this gives we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will Our 
trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, But deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please be seated for a moment. As Bishop mentioned earlier, we launched today our Fiesta Souvenir Magazine. Tamang-tama po, bukas po ay Fiesta ng Santo Nino. At ang Santo Nino po ay mahigpit na kasama ng pagdiriwang natin ng 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And during our Fiesta last month or last year, uh, we started to uh, promulgate our 
our celebration of 500 years by appropriating its theme as our fiesta theme, Gifted to Give. And so today with the bishop, we would like to launch our uh, Fiesta Magazine Souvenir. The year 2020 is a memorable year because of the 70th parish anniversary of our cathedral, made peculiarly memorable because of this COVID-19 pandemic. We originally planned to publish a coffee table book, but the editorial team deemed it inappropriate for the times. So it was cancelled. But we cannot just let this uncustomary episode in the story of the cathedral pass us by. This magazine entitled Ex Cathedra, this is Latin for from the seat or from the chair, documents the different facets of the life of our cathedral during this pandemic and her resolve to celebrate in gratitude such an invaluable blessing from the Lord. So today, in the presence of His Excellency, Most Reverend Onesto F. Onchoco, Bishop of Cubao, we launch this souvenir magazine as a testament to Cubao's enduring faith even in these trying times. To receive from the Bishop copies of this Fiesta Magazine Souvenir, may we call on the following as representatives of the different sectors in our parish. To represent the Parish Pastoral Council, we call on our couple coordinator, Mr. and Mrs. Orly and Gina Araujo. To represent the different ministries and organizations, we call on longtime parishioner and servant leader, Mrs. Elizabeth Magiba. to represent the many religious women in our parish. From the Dominican Sisters of the Annunciata, we call on Sister Mary Ann De Vera, OP. To represent the many religious men in our parish from the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament, we call on Reverend Father Ray Capilli, SSS. <laughs> to represent the hard-working editorial team we call on Mrs. Karen Kapulong and Mrs. Elizabeth Sendin. This souvenir magazine is available at the parish office. Meron pong bayad. It's for sale. 250 pesos lang po. You will read there 
the the different homilies during the novena masses also a tribute to our uh, church volunteers who have gone before us because of this pandemic you will also read there the reflection of bishop ness about the quarantine the ordination of father jp during quarantine and so many more documenting the life of the cathedral during the pandemic and our insistence as a community to celebrate with gratitude this important gift of 70 years as a parish. Maraming salamat po at maraming salamat po sa ating mahal na obispo. Let us all stand. So thank you very much, Father Dennis and uh, his uh, co-workers in the parish. At garantisado po, hindi kayo magsisi once you get a copy. Take my word. <laughs> you will learn much uh, what transpired and what, can, uh, what is transpiring, what is happening as we look forward to more challenges, to more crises, to respond to our call. So sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bestow increase of heavenly grace on your faithful, O Lord. May they praise you with their lips, with their souls, with their lives. And since it's by your gift that we exist, may our whole lives be yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by loving and serving one another. Thanks be to God.